hello everyone welcome to my channel agriculture with Samir and in this video I have come with the one more relationship function of intercropping that is the ideal time equivalent ratio and this is this will be very beneficial if you watch to the end for your masters and doctoral programs and also for BSc students who are uh, more if our who dream to get some higher education in the future so guys let's learn about idea time equivalent ratio and uh, know how to calculate it learn the formula the reason why the formula is being so and the description complete details about area time equivalent ratio in this video of my channel so guys uh, before anything we have to know the scientist name that is so habish in 1978 stated the area time equivalent ratio after his much uh, research on this topic on this small topic but it's a it's being a very much a larger research for habish to calculate the area time equivalent ratio as we had the land equivalent ratio previously so it is a more precise thing of calculating the atr uh, for habish in the in his research so the main thing of uh, making this atr or setting or getting this ATR or calculating this ATR is it is a small modification of LER so we will be knowing the reason why it is a small modification of LER and why was it needed to um, modify LER to get the area time equivalent ratio so here the main thing I have stated is duration of crops was taken into consideration so as we can see the land equivalent ratio so in my previous videos if you go we can you can find out the land equivalent uh, ratio and the relative total ratio of the intercropping systems so in those two intercropping system functions or relation functions you cannot find the duration of crops that is being calculated or that is being implemented or that is being added in it so here especially for the duration of the crops to be considered we have taken the ATER so guys let's see how this ATER is being collected or calculated so ATER area time equivalent ratio is calculating by adding up or by the summation of the relative yield of first crop with its duration and the relative crop yield of the second crop with its duration so guys suppose if we are having a uh, crop or if you're taking two crops in an intercropping system like maize and wheat uh, sorry maize and finger millet then we can calculate its ATR just by calculating its relative yield and by knowing its duration so as usual we can guess up the duration according to the variety it may be early showing or early maturing or late maturing or medium maturity variety so we will getting the duration so guys the most thing of crop B into duration and then we have to divide it with the duration of the total duration of the intercropping system so here the duration of the intercropping system signifies the complete number of days the total number of days taken by the intercropping system okay guys and this duration of crop A and the duration of crop B also takes into account here we have to take the total number of days that is being taken by the crop A to grow the total number of days taken by the crop B and we have to divide it by the total duration of the complete irrigation system like let me give you an example like if you're taking maize plus finger millet or maize plus groundnut or maize versus anything then we have to take the total duration that the both the crops have taken in this intercropping system so if it's the uh, taking for 90 days or 150 days or 180 days that should be taken into consideration the intercropping systems complete duration or complete number of days should be taken so guys here you might be having a question that how to calculate the relative yield of crop A and crop B so guys it's a very simple thing of calculating the relative crop yield or relative yield so the relative yield can be calculated just by dividing the yield of the intercropping per hectare with the yield of the soil crop per hectare okay so let me explain you what we mean by the yield of intercropping so if you're taking two crops maize and groundnut then we have to calculate the yield of both the crops and add up so this will be the top value that is the yield of the intercropping system and next we have to divide the relative the sorry the yield of the soil crop so if we are going uh, two crops maize and groundnut and 
we have to take the yield of both the crops maize plus groundnut we have to add it and we have to take in separate the yield of maize and the yield of groundnut so first time we have to divide the yield of uh, or the sum of yields of maize and groundnut with the yield of maize again we have to divide the yield of maize and groundnut with the yield of groundnut so this in this way we will get the relative yield of both the crops guys so this is all about calculating the relative yield and putting this value into relative yield of crop a and multiplying it with the duration and then adding up both these values and dividing it with the duration of the complete intercropping system is how we can get the area time equivalent ratio value now this is much important for masters and for people or students who are desiring to go for higher studies and for doctorate programs so guys please be careful while calculating the yields and the relative yields and the and considering the duration of the crops so guys the one thing why this uh, what is the difference between the LER and ATR if someone asks you and we must remember it is in LER we have taken the area into consideration land area of cultivation what amount of land we have taken for cultivation we have taken it into consideration and in ATR we have not included any area so here we can clearly say that as we have not added any area so we have underestimated we can say we have underestimated the land use efficiency of the intercropping system and in LER we have overestimated the land use efficiency system so this is how we have to calculate the ATR and the relative yield so guys thank you for watching my video with you are out of patience so keep liking sharing and subscribing and keep learning thank you guys